everybody, my name is Super Valkyrie and welcome back to Mozilla World Ice Born. In the last part, we watched the credits, we did the final boss, we fought Ruin and Urgigante. All in very fast succession. It was, uh, it was a lot, it was a lot. Um, but we're back now and we have to speak to the field team leader and head out. Our main quest is to follow Ruin and Urgigante. Yeah. Uh, you look well rested, did you enjoy yourself last night? We've got a lead on Urgigante's whereabouts. Field teams found tracks in the Elder's Recess. It's a solid match. Guess it went there after feasting on the old Everworm's energy. It's likely still there now. Let's find it before it takes off after its next meal. Be quick. Don't be hasty. You know what this thing's capable of? Be sure you're well prepared. I'll wait here until you're ready. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, what? Hmm... Okay, yeah, it's definitely this. I was like, this kind of sounds like... This kind of sounds like I've just been... I was like, mmm, this just kind of feels like... This kind of felt like the last part where it was like, oh, I'll wait till you're ready. And I was like, hang on, did I not save? But no, I did save. Uh, okay, well, let's go and eat, and then we will head out then. And follow Nergigante, I guess. Everyone ready? <laughs> Whoa, shit. Everyone ready? Wait, no, I'm not ready. I wanna <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I wanna make sure I have my items. Oh, I do. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> that's fine. Okay, now I'm ready, field team leader. Now I'm ready. Everyone ready? Yes. No. Yes, I. No, I am ready. Yes, Everyone I am. Ready. Yes. Let's go. We'll follow the thing to the end of the new world. I genuinely don't know what's going on here. I thought they were just gonna be like, "Yo, we found this new place called the Guiding Lands." Let's go have a look. That's where I thought we were at. But I, I hope I don't have to fight Nergigante again. I don't think I'll have I, I really don't think I'll have to.
place. There's anything like this in the new world of the hinterlands. Nothing can stop us. Okay, we have to find whatever did that roar. Uh, so here we are. We are in the guiding lands, or as uh, a lot of the community likes to call it, the grinding lands, because this is where you'll be spending an awful lot of your time in the end game. In fact, this is post game. If 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 you want something to do, this is your post game. Um, and this place is basically kind of a mash. So they've, they've, they, they've taken every locale from the game. So all the maps, Ancient Forest, Wildspire, Coral Highlands, uh, Elder's Recess, Rotten Vale, and the Horfrost Reach. And they've just mushed it into one map. Um, and it's, it's quite enjoyable, actually. I genuinely enjoy fighting things here. Because um, it's just kind of really seamless. People can come and go on your hunt as they please. If you uh, SOS this, they can come and go. Um, you can... Uh, you can... Um, eventually you'll get the... The, the, um, the ability to uh, collect uh, kind of lores, I suppose. And eventually you'll be able to lore out specific monsters that you want. So say you really, really needed a Kuliaku... Um, if you have the lore for it, you can just go, right, well, I'd like to lure out Kuliaku, and away you go. It's, uh, it's very nice. So this is the Coral Highlands area, obviously. Um, with caution. Okay. Hey. I'm coming, Handler, I just want to have a look. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Okay, we're making a camp. Uh, we've got a camp. Time to start doing some research. Oh, by the way, about those tracks you found, they contained an odd type of secretion. I've never seen this in the New World or the Hinterlands. It may be unique to this region. And then there's whatever's making that roaring sound. Be careful out there, okay? Hey, partner. Okay, so we have to find the source of the roar. So this is your camp. There are two camps in the ancient... In the... Uh, in the ancient forest. There are two camps... In the guiding lands, I believe. Uh, there's another one kind of near the coral bit. But let, let's go and have a little, uh, little look around first. I can show you all the different areas. Oh. Wait, there's actually monsters here? Um, so this is the Wild Spire Waste, obviously. Obviously, I think that's pretty, pretty obvious. Um, just the little wild spire waste there. I'm not, I'm looking for mining nodes. I don't know if they're around yet. So, yeah, this is the wild spire waste area. There's normally kind of like just two kind of, two or three main areas to the, to the regions. Um, and you can level up your regions all the way up to seven. And different monsters will spawn based on the, um based on what level your region is so for example something like silver rathalos requires your guiding lands to be level six so uh, i mean it, it requires your coral highlands area to be level six um so there's that and then for or for example scarred yangaruga uh you have to have level seven of the forest region but the thing is, you can't have more than three at level seven. I have seen SOSs where they have every region at level four, at level seven, um, which shouldn't be possible. Uh, but 
um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, but down here is the Rotten Vale area. So as you can see, just like the Rotten Vale, and you still take a Fluvium damage. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's there's two two kind of main regions to the Rotten Vale. Uh. This area and the area we were just in. There's some Gyros. Um, so yeah, you... I think in, in my main save, I have the Volcanic at 7. I think you I think you can have 4. I think I've managed to get 4 of them up to 7. Um, so I have the Core Highlands, Volcanic, Wild Spire, and uh, the uh, Horfrost Reach region up to 7. Um, but getting getting all six of them up to seven is is kind of tricky. Um, where does the handler want me to go? Let's just let's just follow it. So yeah, that's basically just the guiding lands. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of guiding land stuff in streams. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just keep playing this game until the next game comes out. Um, we're gonna be streaming this, streaming Rise. I'm I might give Monster Hunter Frontier a go. There's like a Discord server where you can download it and play it on PC. So I'm gonna see if I can get that to work in 2024. I'm not gonna worry about it yet, but. But yeah, there are a bunch of different monsters here that will only spawn. Uh, once you've gotten regions to certain levels, or there are event quests, which is what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Just to save time. So this is one of our new friends. No girl. So he's one of our new friends. Um, so basically, uh, I was I was gonna stay and fight here, but um, they do leave the locale. Um, <clears throat> so they, they'll leave the locale pretty fast um, because they they want you to go back. So there we go. Yeah, look, Zenogar's left. Diablos is left. Everyone's left. Um, so yeah, they they don't want you to stay. They they want you to head back and uh, and report it, and rightly so. Really, you probably should report this if this was like a real life thing. 
So, uh, yeah, let's head back. Wow, that's some story. Who would have thought a place like that exi existed? Uh -huh. I know, a Rathalos was fighting a Diablos and then a Zenogra joined in. Really? When we were testing how high we could go with the airship, I remember seeing a strange mountain-like shape on the horizon. The Third Fleet wanted to conduct an investigation into it since they had no solid evidence of anything like that existing. But it looks like you guys managed to beat them to the punch. Mm -hmm. From what I'm hearing, the land contains regions that resemble the locales we're already active in. There's got to be some fundament something fundamentally different about them, though. We need to focus on gathering samples from bones and ore so that we can compare them to data we already have. Understood. We'll get started right yeah. away. Was there anything else you noticed that was uh -huh. off? Actually, we found tracks that had strange composition to them. I've never saw anything like them in the New World or the Hinterlands. They're definitely from a monster, but I can't pinpoint what monster made them. Um. I think I'll have to... I'll have the time to look into this, those tracks too if you want. Who knows? If we can analyze those tracks, they might even lead us to something big. Groundbreaking even. Roger. Understood. I'll leave that to you then. Now that's sorted out, the most difficult part is next. What the heck do we call that place? Let's see. I think I got it. Since you were led there by Nergigante, the Guiding Lands has a nice ring to it. Alright, let's get cracking. Let's get to cracking the mystery of the Guiding Lands. Let's do this. You will look into that Zenoga first. Oh, and don't forget to collect samples from bones and ore while you're out there. All right. You heard the lady, head out to the Guiding Lands when you're ready. Okay, so the Guiding Lands is a complex ecosystem consisting of multiple regions that affect each other. Go on expeditions in the Guiding Lands to find out more about the monsters and characteristics of each region. Uh, only Master Rank is available in the Guiding Lands. You will receive Master Rank points for any large monsters you hunt in the Guiding Lands. Even on expeditions, large monsters will escape and be replaced by other large monsters um, after a while. But if you're fighting them or if they're low health, they will stay around longer. If you faint while on an expedition in the Guiding Lands, you will receive fewer rewards when hunting a large monster. The more you research the monsters in that area, the more the region level will increase. At higher region levels, new powerful species and tempered monsters may start appearing. Large monsters in the Guiding Lands will drop rare items and yield special materials. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the bone piles and ore have special materials as well. And we have been bumped up to Master Rank 48, Jesus. Everyone ready? Uh, next up, the Guiding Lands. Go okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. So this is the uh, Rajang quest line. Uh, I won't be doing that just yet. And no thank you. Mm, so yeah, we can times it by 10. The, I've, I've, I've never showed you this, but I feel like I don't really need to. So, I think we can craft layered armor now. <laughs> Do I? Okay, I think so. To finish off this episode, let's take a quick jaunt into the Guiding Lands, shall we? Um, and we will just... Hang on, my Argosy's back, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, let, 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 let's take a quick jaunt to the Guiding Lands. And... Uh, yeah, see how we get on. So, uh, I'm going to set it to one just for a minute. So there are a few more assigned quests that we have to do. Um, the next one's at Hunter Rank, Master Rank 49, I believe. And um, we have to get the forest to level 3. So let's, let's take a little sort of wander around the forest region for a bit. And maybe fight something. Uh, so yeah, okay. So see in the analysis progress. I know, I know, I know. Um, so things you do in this place are gonna, uh, increase your, uh, so collecting tracks, uh, breaking parts, it can all give you new analysis or progress, uh, current analysis. Um, so let's just have a little look-see around, shall we? I think Anjanath is seems like he's in the forest area. Yeah, he is. 
So, a ton of prints. I would like to try and find some mining nodes while we're here. Um, so yeah, he's kind of off the map currently. Okay. Oh, here we go. So the mining, the bone piles look a little bit different. Um, they look like this. <coughs> um, the the and each region has different stuff. Um, <clears throat> the mining nodes. I'm pretty sure the mi the mining nodes also look different. They look like this. Yeah. So you can get different things. So when you're in the guiding lands, just collect everything. If you see a mining node or a bone pile, collect it. You're gonna need it. So we have an Anjanath over here. So, and each monster will drop um, new things as well. So, drop parts will be totally new. Um, so, again, do not miss those those shiny parts because you're gonna need it. <laughs> okay. So, let's see if we can deal with this Anjanath then. Quite a large Anjana, isn't he? So you can send out SOSs like you can on regular quests. Um, people can join in your guiding lands and leave whenever they want to. There's no like set time they can stay. Um, oh boy, I forgot he does that. So the thing about the Guiding Lands though is that the, the shinies will kind of despawn quite quickly. Um, so you kind of have to be prepared for that. Because they will despawn quite quickly, so when you see them, just grab it. So they do drop a lot of shiny things. Let's see if we can get a broken part and see if we can get like a region raise or... gonna run around and grab all of this I'm um, looking at the going lands there's no time limit you can literally stay in here for 24 hours at a time um, you can literally just spend like an entire week real time in here and that's fine monsters will just keep spawning as long as you're in here things will spawn um, the only time they'll stop spawning is if, say, you're in somebody else's guiding lands. Um, if you're in someone else's and the leader uh, of the quest of the guiding lands leaves, so whoever's guiding lands it is, if they leave, um, after all of the monsters in the area have been either killed or have despawned, no more will spawn. So it has to be your own guiding lands and you can literally stay in here for as long as you want. 
I might do that. I might, I might do like a really long stream one day and we'll just see, we'll just stay in the Guiding Lands for the entire time and see how we get on. I think that might be quite fun. Can I do this? Oh, okay, so we broke apart, and you see in the corner, the fanged wyvern thing is, um, has kind of, like, popped. We've got, like, a little arrow there now. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, they drop a lot, a lot of, uh, materials. And the mining nodes respawn very fast as well. Um, so that's also a plus. So I think he's gone upstairs oh, I thought I saw another mining node but maybe I didn't and if, 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 if you're trying to get a specific monster to spawn then just fight monsters that are exclusive to that region that's the best way so Anjanath will pro is pro you can probably fight Anjanath in the wild spire and the forest so if I was if I wanted to raise my forest region Anjanath probably wouldn't be the one I'd pick because he can spawn elsewhere. So by fighting the by fighting Anjanath, we're raising our forest and our wild spire. Which you might not want to do. Especially when you're trying to get multiple regions to max level. Um, you need to be very careful because your regions can dip and uh and rise very very fast okay, he is almost dead So there we go, we've captured him and we've got another bit of progress towards uh, our fanged wyvern, which I'm pretty sure the first invest the first analysis thing you get is always gonna be a fanged wyvern and it's always gonna be Zenogre. Uh so yeah, that's basically how the guiding lands work. Um, monsters will just keep spawning, so, like, there's a Baroth and, uh, a Rathian lurking around. Um, the Wild Spire. Um, which is, which is grand. So, the monster you're tracking will leave the area soon, so it's probably going to be Baroth. So, if we hang around, this is going to be a slightly longer video, but I think that's fine, isn't it? Um... So if there if there's a monster out and you really want to fight that particular monster, I would go and fight them ASAP because they do kind of despawn kind of fast. Um. So yeah, there's Rathian and Baroth over there. Uh, I'm just looking for. Some mining nodes. Okay, here we go. So we're in the wild spire now, and you'll see we'll get different things. See, so we've got cracked crystals uh, and stuff like that now. Oh. Let's see if we can find a bone pile. They're normally like in like the little crevices. Um. I mean, we, you, you get my drift, right? You understand how it works. Every region has different materials you can grab. Um, and there's also kind of like a little kind of side, side thing in the Guiding Lands. So there are rare pets called molies. Uh, they're very cute. 
I'll put a picture on screen. There's a different one for every area. Um, so there's like a... I can't remember what they're called now. I really need to declutter my inventory. Because that's probably going to help a lot. If you want to lure out a monster, then the kind of... Uh, and, but there are already three on the map. Then uh, the first monster to spawn will be the first to despawn, right? Um, so say you had just... So say that I had just killed the... Uh, the so that out out of these, I had just killed the barrel. Um, I had spawned in like a Zenogre, right? Then either the Baroth or the Rathian would despawn because um, because they they're like the earliest the earliest monsters. Uh, so that's that's kind of how it works. And if there is if there's an Elder Dragon out, if you you because you can spawn Elder Dragons here when you get your levels high enough. If there's an Elder Dragon out, then you can only have two monsters around at a time. And they can't be two Elder Dragons. <laughs> so, uh, for example, let's say I summoned a Teostra in the Wild Spar Waste. Um, I, could, I couldn't then summon a Kirin in the Coral Highlands and have them both out at the same time. But I, pr I could... <laughs> Um, you, you can have, like, say, a Pookie, a Pookie Pookie and a Teostra out at the same time. Um, that's fine. That works. It just can't be, like, two Elder Dragons. So here's a Coral Highlands bone pile. See, we're getting, we're getting new things. So I have just angered things, which is not, not handy. Uh, let's also see if we can maybe get the second camp. If I can remember where it is. <laughs> it's like up. I'm pretty sure it's up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's there. So, so yeah, Rathian's left the locale now and Jagras has spawned. Um, should we go and fight a Jagras? This, this, this episode is going to be going to be longer, but you know, it's just the guiding lands. This is just how how they work. You you are the likelihood is you are going to be spending a lot of time here, and I don't think that's a bad thing. So there are some areas in the guiding lands that are off limits to you. Um, so. We can't access the volcanic area yet, I'm pretty sure. And we can access the hoarfrost reach area either. So yeah, there's the Anjanath. Where's our good old pal Jagras? There he is. We're just going to run past. We're just going to run past Anjanath. And let's fight a Jagras. I haven't fought a Jagras in this series since the low rank version. <laughs> since the very first version you fight. And because he's a fanged wyvern, I'm not sure if like we'll get like more research towards it. So this shouldn't take us too long. Oh, okay. Anjanath is just eating him. Alright, that's nice. Should we try and flash pot him, maybe? There you are, Jagras. I saved you.
Do the dung plugs still work? Okay, we have a barrel. Look, you, when, when, when will you ever see a Jagros in a barrel in the same area? Okay, I'm just gonna collect all of this stuff while it's here. Jagros has run off. Okay, and that is a Jagros Slade. So you, so I didn't even get a single. Uh, I didn't get a, a kind of a thingy for even slaying him. Which is quite sad, actually. I thought I'd get at least one. Um, but as you can see, we have unlocked a new one, which is a Brute Wyvern, so that's nice. Um, I don't think there's a limit to how many you can have on the screen. Maybe it's like three or four. Um, but let's return to camp. Uh, okay, well. We'll, f we'll okay, well. We'll forecast the camp. And then, so basically at the end of every hunt, what you do is you um report investigation so you can just return and it'll it'll do the whole thing anyway um and it'll give you all the rewards anyway but if you're staying um and you don't want to go back fully but you want to report you just report your investigation and it'll just give you a bunch of things that you did so we got anjanath items jagras items so you do get the regular um carves that you normally get from the monsters that you fight uh and then you also get the guiding lands exclusive ones so let's take all and obviously you get face stones as well Uh, so got our forest is almost level one. Our wild spire, our, for our forest is almost level two, and we did level up our wild spire a little bit. Like I said, because um, I think I, th I don't know if gaining tracks gives you region levels. I'm unsure. Don't quote me on that. But it might, because we spent a little bit of time in the wild spire collecting tracks, and we did the mining node, so that could have helped. But um, I am going to say it's because of Anjanath, and because Anjanath is a wild spire monster as well, that probably also got a little bit of... Uh... That also probably got a little bit of uh... things. So... This is this is basically it. Well, this this is Endgame Monster Hunter now. We have a couple more like assigned quests coming, um, which is going to be a Yangaruga, and then two quests where we have to fight two tempered monsters each in each quest, and then we have the uh, Master Rank One Hundred quest, and that is the final assigned quest we will get. So eventually we'll get there, and I will do those assigned quests on like recording them. Um, so don't worry about that. But, uh, yeah, that is the Guiding Lands. Oh, wait, yeah. I want to see if we can craft the layered armor. Oh, yeah. Here he is. He's going to be like, yo, lads. Layered armor. Oh, here we go. So, once you fight things in the Guiding Lands, you collect their materials. And you can craft the layered armor sets. Which is great. Oh god, they're just they're all here. We have all well, not all of them, but yeah. So you can craft all of the all, literally all of the sets you can have layered now. Which is so nice. It really opens the door to kind of fashion fashion hunting. Um, it really opens the door. So you do have to discover at least one of the materials first before you can uh, before you can see the layered armor to craft it. Oh, we can even forge the gamma stuff. You do need to fight. Um, you do need to fight the arch tempered to get the tickets, but they're high rank. And at this point, if you've gotten to this point in even even if you've got to this point completely solo and you've just done story till this point, you should still have no issue fighting the high rank arch tempered monsters anymore. So that the carrying gamma is really nice. It's really glowy, 
um, stunning. Um, and yeah, we can craft the Jagra stuff now. Amazing. I don't know why Anjanath isn't on here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why Anjanath isn't on here. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure that out <laughs> eventually. But, uh, yeah, and I think we can augment stuff now. Yeah, here we go. So, we can augment things now. Um, so, each bow has, like, each weapon has, like, a set number of slots. And you can, um, you can upgrade, uh, you can basically fit, fit things in like this. Uh, get extra slots, and you can only have the augments that you can fit in. So, health regen takes up three slots, defense takes up one. Oh, and we also have access to a uh, Master Rank Zora Magdaro set again, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I never showed you the Ruin or Nergi. Did you not have. Okay, so I guess we can't actually forge the Ruin or Nergi set yet. Did I not carve the Ruin or Nergi Gante? We also have the Savage Devil Joe set as well is is popped up, so that's that's nice. I actually quite like that. That's quite cute. Uh, that's popped up. The Kashala set's popped up. Kirin. Oh, the Master Rank Kirin stuff's actually quite cute. I quite like it. <laughs> so yeah, we can we can basically oh the Astral Gear has popped up for some reason. That was an event armor set. Um, but yeah, that's the we we are now in Endgame. Uh, I, I will do separate videos on the, uh, I'll do separate videos on, obviously, the special assignment over there. That's going to be a Rajang. We'll do videos on him. We'll do videos on the locked monsters that we have currently. So, um, the silver and gold Rathian Rathalos, um, Brute Tigrex, Zenogre, Stygian Zenogre, Furious Rajang, Raging Bracadios, uh, Alatreon, Fatalis. All of those will all get individual videos as well. So don't worry about that. We've still got a bunch of recorded videos coming. But there's going to be so many streams now. Because we are just going to be farming the Guiding Lands. <laughs> and fashion hunting for a little bit. So thank you guys very much for watching this entire series really. Like I said, don't worry. There's still tons more to come. But we're kind of at the end of the storyline now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very, it's a very bittersweet, but, um, I'm very excited to just grind. We are on the grind. Uh, for decorations so we can get good builds. Uh, that kind of thing. It's gonna, it's gonna be grand. It's gonna be grand. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have a blast. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the subscribe button. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, friends. Extra special thank you to my Diamond and Ultimate YouTube members. They are Tyreen the Tiger. <laughs>